Hi, today I wanted to demonstrate a mobile device management solution to you known as FAMOC. Uh, the vendor is called Fancy Phone and they are a vendor based in Poland. They're a relatively small vendor but rapidly growing. And the product, in my opinion, is very, very good and it's why I wanted to show you it today. So if we uh, log in and uh, we can uh, start the demo. So as soon as we log in, we see the uh, wizard. The wizard will help you initially set up the device. Uh, but we're going to cross this off and have a look at the product itself. So um, the main two tabs at the top are the FAMOC tab and My Account tab. The My Account tab is uh, an area you set up uh, usually once and then you uh, leave it alone and uh, don't usually uh, change anything inside it. So the first submenu in my account tab is users. So this is where all the users are populated. And if you integrate it with LDAP uh, or Active Directory, it's uh, populated for you. So this is where you'd manage all the users of mobile devices. Uh, I'm going to quickly run over this section because uh, it's not really uh, uh, that interesting as compared to the uh, the the FAMOC tab. So organization is where you'd uh, set up your organization. By the way, uh, the product itself is uh, able to do multi-tenancy. So you can set up multiple uh, organizations uh, and uh, each organization uh, can manage uh, their own set of devices and they can't see each other's uh, devices. Uh, user details, this is details about the administrator and it's uh, the administrator can change their password uh, and, and some uh, basic uh, uh, details on the the administrator itself. Uh, groups is where you'd uh, set up multiple groups and then you could um, apply lots of users to uh, different groups and then later on use the main policies. Imports is where you'd um, integrate it with Active Directory or LDAP. And finally we get dictionaries and roles. In particular roles is you so you could uh, give different uh, management roles to the product for management. Uh, so if we go into the, the main section, which is the FAMOC section, which is the section you'd uh, spend uh, 95 plus percent of your time in, the uh, dashboard screen is the, uh, the first screen you come to, which is the summary screen, and it gives you uh, an overall status of the device itself. Um, although there's not much information here, I do have some screenshots to show you, which are a little bit better to look at. So there's uh, more data within these screenshots. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, product I'm showing you today, there's nothing really in it or no device provision to it, apart from a, a made-up one that I made earlier today. So if we go to the Devices uh, tab, this is where you'd manage the devices. Uh, this one is one that I just manually created. And if we hit the Manage button, you can see some gobbledygook information that I've just made up. Um, but usually when you provision a device, all this information is populated for you. So the initial uh, provisioning, uh, which a, a user does themselves, uh, and uh, the, the agent will pick up all this information and populate for you. Um, here is some further sub-tabs where you can manage the device itself. In particular, the security tab is a good tab where you'd, uh, you can uh, report the device as stolen or you can uh, produce a, a data wipe of the device or a full enterprise wipe, which means wipe the, uh, the the full device and the data type uh, data wipe means just wipe the data portion of the device uh, backup is where you could uh, back up the device so you can back up the um, the contacts the calendar SMS and folders so you've got to set these up uh, beforehand which is done in the backup section up here somewhere uh, actually it's within the configuration uh, section and then there's a sub menu for backup uh, SIM cards, you manage SIM cards uh, from here, um, device monitor, ability to monitor the device, alerts on the device, login on the device, uh, you, you can install different types of agents on the device and it will show you which ones are uh, installed on the device. Um, applications, so you can see which applications are installed on the device and manage them, you can manage the users assigned to the device and this gives the de device details gives you some information on the, the device itself. Uh, SIM cards up here, uh, which is the next tab, um, this is just um, uh, information on, on the set of SIM cards uh, that you have uh, imported into the database. 
so this is the main section, the config center, and this is the, 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 the section you'd spend most of your time in. So going to the agents, uh, agents are required on the device to be able to manage the device. Uh, certificate is used for secure connectivity, so everything is encrypted from the device to the Pantaform server. The base agent is the initial agent you install on the device to be able to manage the device. So that's the, the, the key agent before you can do anything with the device. Uh, once that's on, you can remotely manage the device. Remote access, you can take remote control of the device itself, which is, uh, this is supported on uh, specific platforms. Um, unfortunately, this, it, this one is not available for iOS devices. Uh, backup agent is for um, the ability to back up the device. Security agent, so you could uh, produce certain security functions such as device wipe. Uh, location monitor uh, gives you the ability to see where the device is on a map. Order agent, so you could uh, collect order information about the device. Uh, and secure source is something I'm not really familiar with. Um, and it's uh, Farmox Secure Source empowers users to remotely access documents. Okay, so that's uh, in a, a basic uh, sentence what it does. And if we go back up, the next tab is the application tab. So we can add applications to the device. Uh, we can browse to the application, select the file, or we can just install the application from the App Store and specify the download link so the uh, device can uh, download it from iTunes itself. We can also specify further information down here, such as licenses. Uh, the, the application may need a license before it's uh, um, able to um, be used by the device. Um, so we'll uh, we'll go to the, the the next tab, which is the 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 heart of the product and where all the uh, main um, policies are. Um, in particular. Uh, if we add a configuration policy, the, the, the iPhone uh, policy is uh, probably the most interesting one simply because the FAMOC server supports iPhone more than any other product. So if we select that, we can see all the policies we can set up for the iPhone. So um, the uh, passcode is the first one we'll look at. So you can set up different passcode policies such as uh, minimum number of complex characters. Uh, maximum passcode age, automatic locking, um, uh, grace period for device lock, etc. Uh, and device functionality, so we can uh, allow use of camera or we can disallow it. Uh, automatic syncing while uh, roaming, allow of Siri, allow in application purchases, multiplayer gaming, allow screenshots. So we, we can set up all these uh, for the iPhone or iPad devices. Um, restrictions uh, applications so allow use of Safari uh, browser if you add the item you can um, enable submenus for the Safari browser as well uh, allow use of YouTube or iTunes so we can uh, block these or we can allow these uh, iCloud so we can manage um, iCloud um, so allow to use iCloud backup and the rest of the settings for the iCloud uh, security and privacy so manage the security and privacy of the device and if we go scroll right down, uh, you've got lots of other um, areas where you could uh, uh, set up policies for the device, such as lock device to a single application and then specify the application name. Uh, wireless LAN network the device connects to. Uh, we can specify the wireless LAN settings, including the protocol settings, uh, and etc. Um, email, so add an email account for the device. Uh, HTTP proxy settings if the device goes through a, a, a web proxy uh, an exchange server you may want to configure an exchange server for the device to connect to to download corporate email um, um, specify an LDAP server, CalDAP, subscribe calendars so there's quite a lot of um, um, settings uh, that you could send down to the device uh, certificates so if the device requires a certificate for example um, the exchange server certificate so it could securely connect to the exchange, exchange server for authentication that can be done from here um, VPN configuration so the device supports the FAMOC server supports a lay two, tunnel, uh, lay 2 tunneling protocol point to point tunneling protocol uh, Cisco VPN um, as well as uh, Cisco AnyConnect 
uh, and uh, something known as uh, access point uh, name configuration so we can uh, configure this as well so uh, going to the next tab which is SMS tab the SMS is usually used to initially provision the device uh, for non iOS devices we would um, send a an SMS message and they would follow the instructions within the SMS message to provision the device for iPhone devices or iOS devices that could be iPads as well uh, it, we'd set up something called the bootstrap where the uh, the user uh, browses to our URL from the device and downloads the certificate and the agent and then from there we're able to manage the device uh, so the backup tab enables us to apply a backup pattern uh, we could uh, apply contact backing up of contacts calendars SMSs and folders uh, we can uh, also specify the maximum size uh, packages so packages are used for uh, packaging all the the settings together so for example um, um, agents applications configuration SMS backup uh, there's lots of uh, configuration profiles here we may want to um, rather than sending each configuration profile to a device we can package them all together uh, into one package and send the whole package to the device itself so this is where you'd add the applications uh, and the agents uh, and we can also uh, specify some other criteria such as um, action performance maybe you'd um, install an application and then wait 30 seconds and then install another application or an agent or something so uh, it's quite uh, configurable uh, and if your organization is very very large we can uh, we can also package packages up together uh, into sets of packages so the next tab is the remote access and remote access there's nothing in here but I'll show you some screenshots very shortly uh, it enables us to remotely access the device uh, the log tab enables us to view logs about the device location tab enables us to uh, see where the device is located on a map again I'll show you screenshots of these uh, shortly alerts so we can see alerts of the device uh, alerts are configurable as well uh, so if we go into settings uh, settings there's uh, quite a lot of uh, miscellaneous sort of settings audit policy, security policy, backup policies uh, in particular alerts here's the uh, alerts area and you can enable and disable these uh, a good one is um, somewhere down here uh, jailbreak warning for device so you can uh, see uh, you can be alerted on when a device is, has been jailbroken and finally the reports tab gives you um, ability to report on statistics for the device uh, there's quite a lot of reports here so some very uh, useful uh, uh, information you can gather from these reports uh, so if we quickly have a look at some screenshots uh, with some real data in it so this is the dashboard screen overall summary so it shows you devices added devices removed uh, sim card changes in devices uh, unread alerts uh, for different uh, platform devices and the different platform devices managed by the system um, the next screenshot shows the devices tab so all the devices we can manage and if we click on one of these manage buttons uh, we come to the next screenshot which is shows just an iPhone uh, device um, moving on to the next screenshot we can see it's a Symbian uh, uh, a Nokia E72 device on the Symbian operating system uh, and we see some audit information here uh, the next screenshot is a Windows Mobile 6 device um, and the the tab in particular it's showing is the device monitor so we can see some further info down here about the device monitor of the device uh, the next screenshot is a, a Blackberry Bold and it's um, in particular the log tab uh, so it shows logs just for this device itself so a lot all these tabs show just the information for this device itself where if you had clicked the log tab up here it shows logs for all devices um, so yeah so th this is more specific just to this particular device or particular device and device user so the next tab is remote access so these are the devices you can uh, remotely access and if you click on one of these it will 
uh, take you to a, a screen like this where you can remotely access the device, uh, remotely access the uh, configuration device, the raw data folders of the device. Uh, the next tab shows the next screenshot or, or tab, uh, which is the location tab, shows you uh, the um, way we can uh, locate the uh, device. In particular, this one is selected, so this user has been um, shown on the map here, so we can physically see where it is on the map. And alerts uh, tab shows uh, the alerts for the device, and that's this is the the area I was showing you previously where within settings you can configure the types of alerts you want to view or you, you wanted to uh, disable. Okay, so this section here is when you send a configuration out to a device, you can select. So when you sorry, when you send a configuration, uh, you can select which devices you'd like to send that particular configuration to and you can add the devices here uh, and then you can send uh, the uh, configuration out to the devices so if we go back into the FAMAC console and we go to the config center configuration we'll click on send configuration uh, we can select the device here uh, that's not selectable because it's not a real device and there's no agent installed on it but otherwise it would appear here and we can select multiple ones and then we can send this to the device or we can even schedule it for a later date or a later uh, time so the the next screenshot is back to the uh, original uh, screenshot I've showed you um, so uh, that's it for me I think we've uh, seen uh, most of uh, what the FAMOC server can uh, do and can provide and it's uh, it does seem like a, a very good uh, feature rich products so uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed the demo and uh, thank you for watching